area. So area is a measurement that covers things, just like a carpet covers the floor, for example, or paint covers a wall. So area. Now, area is measured literally in squares. So one square centimetre, for example, is literally a square that's one centimetre by one centimetre. One square metre is literally a square which is one metre by one metre and so on. OK, so we're going to look at the formulas we need for the three common shapes that we're going to encounter. You won't be given any of these on the formula sheet, so you do need to be aware of them. So the first one is the formula for the area of a rectangle. So if we know the width and we know the length, then the area is what we get when we multiply those two together. OK, if we're doing the triangle, then it's very similar because triangles in effect are half of a rectangle. So that's one way to remember that there's a half in the triangle one. We use slightly different terminology just to make it more obvious. So here we have our base and we have our height here. Now, notice it's not the length of a side in this particular case. It's got to be what's known as the perpendicular height. So what you get by taking a line from the point at the top and dropping it straight down so it meets the base at right angles. So the area of a triangle is a half times the base times the height, the perpendicular height, remember. And then finally, we have a circle. And the formula for the area of a circle is that the area is equal to pi times r squared. If you have trouble getting remembering which of the two circle um, formulas you need for which, think about, again, the fact that area is about squares, so it has the squared in it. OK, so let's do some examples. So here we have a very simple one. We have Mrs. Jenkins is a chicken farmer, it says, and her chicken pen is 18 metres long and 8 metres wide. And each chicken requires at least 3 metres squared. So we've got to work out how many chickens we can keep in here. So the first thing we've got to do is work out how, what the total area is in the pen. So remember, the area of a rectangle is the width times the length, or the length times the width. It's multiplication, so it doesn't matter which way around you do it. So we've got 18 times 8. OK, all right. So 10 eighths are 80, 8 eighths are 64. If you add those together, you're going to get 144 square metres. OK, so each chicken needs three. So now what we need to do is divide this by three in order to work out how many chickens we can fit in there. So threes into 14 will go four with two left over and threes into 24 goes eight. So 48 chickens would fit inside that pen. Let's do some more. So let's move on and look at some triangles here. So remember, it's all about this perpendicular height. So they've thrown in the length of that side, but actually we don't need it at all. So remember, the area of a triangle is a half times the base times the height. So in this case, we're talking about a half times 10 times 5. So a half of 10 is 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. So 25 square centimetres is what we need here. OK, we're going to skip over the bit in the middle. We're just going to have a look at this next one here. So in this case, we've got a right angle triangle. So we've got a base of 7, and we have got a height of 4. 
So this time, because it's a right angle triangle and that line comes down and meets this one at a right angle, actually, this time, the side is one the one we need to use for the height. So remember, the formula is a half times the base times the height. Now, you can do this in any order you want. So why not do a half of four, which is easier than a half of seven? So a half of four is two. And then two times seven is 14. So 14 centimeters squared is the answer for the area of that triangle. So we've done rectangles, done triangles. So now let's have a look at some circles here. OK, so the, the context of this one is a mobile phone mask has mast has a range of three kilometers. And we've got to calculate the area inside the circle, basically. So the area of the circle. So remember, the formula is the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. So that's three in this case. So we've got pi times three squared, or in other words, we've got nine pi. So let's put that into the calculator. So we've got pi down here times nine equals this time they've asked for two decimal places. So that makes it twenty eight point two seven kilometers squared. Let's do another circle one <clears throat> here. We've got a circular flower bed and this one has a diameter of seven meters and we've got to work out the area of the flower bed so our formula remember has the radius in it so the first thing we've got to do is this is the diameter so the radius will be half of that so just watch out for that don't get caught out so the area is pi times 3.5 squared so let's put that into the calculator Shift and pi times 3.5 squared equals, and this time they want one decimal place, so that's 38.5 meters squared for the area of that circle. So we're now going to have a look at some more area ones that are just a little bit more complex. <clears throat> So we've got some shapes that aren't rectangles, triangles or circles. But of course, these shapes are made up of rectangles in particular in this case. So how do we deal with this? We deal with this by chopping the shape up into two parts. OK, so I'm going to put a dotted line, if you like, across here. So now we're going to work out the area of each rectangle and then add those two areas together. So this one at the bottom has a width of five and a height of five. And so the area of this piece here is five times five, which is 25. Now we want the area of this one. So we know the width of it here, it's four, but we've got to figure out this length. So from here to here is four. From here to here is five and from here to here is three. So we need to add all of those parts together to get the full length. So four and five is nine plus three is 12. So at the top here, we've got a width of four and a length of 12. So four twelves are 48. And so altogether, we've got 48 and 25. So that means we've got 73 centimetres squared in total. Now, I'm just going to on this next one show a slightly different technique for doing it. So in the last one, we chopped the shape up into two parts. The other way you can do it is to imagine that you've got one great big rectangle like so with a piece taken out of it. So in this case, we do the large 
rectangle first. The area of the large rectangle will be the width here, which is 10. And we'd need to do, um, oh, this is a slightly different question because we've actually got to work out what that is. So the length of this line is going to be x plus 7. So we've actually got x plus 7 to go in there. So altogether, if we multiply that out, we've got 10x plus 70. So that's the big one. Now the small piece here, so the small rectangle, is going to have a length of x there. And that's going to be multiplied by its width here. So this is 10, this is 4, so that must be 6. OK, so that means that that's going to be 6x altogether. So then we're literally going to take away the small bit from the large bit. So 10x plus 70 minus 6x is going to give us 4x plus 70. Now, in this particular case, here in the example, they've told us that the area is 106. So that means that this equals 106. Sorry, I've not left myself any space here. Let me grab some paper. So we can carry on here. So we've now got an equation to solve in this one. OK, so we're going to take away 70 from both sides to get rid of that. So that will leave us with 4x equals 36. And then we're going to divide both sides by 4 to get rid of the 4 there. So we'll have x equals 9. So that's the end of that question. It's quite common for them to put the algebra in with these types of questions. So don't be frightened of it. Just go through it as if the x was a real number, which it kind of is. You just don't know what it is yet. OK, so let's look at another combo one. So this time, the one that I'm bringing in now is a combination, as you can see, of a rectangle and a triangle. So this time we're going to chop it here to get those two shapes. So from here to here, it tells me that's eight. And from across here, it's six. So this rectangle at the bottom is going to be eight times six, which is 48. So then if we want to do our triangle, remember a triangle is a half times the base times the height. So this base here is the same width as this, so that's 6. <clears throat> and they've given it outside of the triangle, but our perpendicular height here is 5. So the area of this triangle at the top is a half times 6 times 5. A half of 6, of course, is 3. Three fives are 15. So to finish this off, our total area is 48 plus the 15. So that gives us 63 centimetres squared. OK, one last combo, this time involving a rectangle and a circle. So we're told this is 20 along here. This is 11. And the diameter of this is 8, the circle. So this is another one where they're asking us to do the pink shaded bit. So we need to work out the rectangle and the circle and then take the circle away from the rectangle. So the rectangle has an area of 20 times 11. OK, so that's going to be 220 centimeters squared. The circle, the area of the circle is pi r squared. Now we've got the diameter which is 8 so the radius is 4 so it's pi times 4 squared or 16 pi, probably do that. So shift and pi 
uh, times 16 equals 50.27 to two decimal places because that's what they've asked for in this particular question. So now what we've got to do is 220 minus the 50.27. Okay, it does actually say on this one that you can do it on the calculator. So let's do that, make life easy for ourselves. 220 minus 50.27 equals 169.73. Centimeters squared. So that's how we find the area of simple shapes and complex shapes.